Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the topics in A-level maths. Here we're on intersection of straight lines and circles, so we can answer questions from exercise 6D. So what we have here is the equation of a line, y equals 5 plus x, or x plus 5, and the equation of a circle, x squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 29. So what we're going to have to do, we've seen this previously effectively in a previous uh, chapter, is solve these two as simultaneous equations, one quadratic, one linear, so it's going to be by method of substitution here. So what we're going to do is, in the equation of a circle, replace y with x plus 5, because that's what y is, y is x plus 5. So substitute that into the equation of your circle, Simplify what you have inside the brackets. Now expand those brackets. Collect like terms and group on the left so we can start to factorise. What I do here is because everything is an even number, I'd certainly divide through by 2 to make life easier for myself. And then we've got three terms here, so we're going to have to factorise and then solve the equation by factorising. So we get x is minus 5 and x is 2. What we have to do now is plug these back into the equations of either the circle or the uh, line. Probably a bit easier to do it into the line. So given that x is minus 5, the y coordinate will be 0. And given that the x coordinate is 2, we're going to plug that into the equation as well and get y is 7. So the coordinate is going to be minus 5, 0, and 2, 7. And graphically, this is what it's going to look like. Intersection of x plus 5 with the equation of the circle will go through at minus 5, 0, and 2, 7. Right, another one. Um, show that the line y equals x minus 7 does not touch the circle x plus 2 squared plus y squared equals 33. Now the first thing I thought of here was the discriminant. If it doesn't touch it, then the discriminant is going to have to be less than um, 0. Okay, so let's try substituting it in, get a polynomial for x, and then try to solve it, but eventually b squared minus 4ac will be less than 0. So substituting in the y value, which is x minus 7 into the quadratic term here. Expand your brackets. Simplify and group all of the terms over on the left-hand side. And probably best to half it, given that all of those numbers are even. Now we'll try using the quadratic formula. And what will eventually happen inside the quadratic formula is this thing here. We're going to get a square root of a negative number. So hence, as b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, we do not find any uh, any intersections because we can't do the square root of minus 15, and hence the equation of the line and the circle do not meet. So because b squared minus 4ac minus 4ac is less than 0, um, we get no intersections. Okay. Right. Uh, what would this look like on a curve? Well, if we plot the equation of a curve, it would be at minus 2, 0, and a, radi a radius of square root of 33. And the equation of the line would look like this. Y equals x minus 7. No intersections there. Right, it's your turn to have a go at some questions now. Pause the video and see how you get on. Right, so let's have a go at this question here then. So y equals x plus 4 meets the circle. x minus 3 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 34. Find the coordinates a and b. So what we do is we solve this equation by method of substitution. So it's going to be x minus 3 squared, add, now y, y we're going to replace with x plus 4, but seeing as we're taking away 5 afterwards, we're going to have x minus 1 squared equals 34. 
expand the brackets and we're going to get x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 34. Now taking away uh, 34 to the left hand side and simplifying we're going to get 2x squared minus 8x minus 24 equals 0 and half everything to simplify. And solve the quadratic equation by method of factorising. So we get x is 6 and x is minus 2. Now when x is 6, the y coordinate here is going to be 10. And the y coordinate when y x is minus 2 is going to be 2. So our intersection coordinates are 6, 10 and minus 2, 2. That's the final answer for Question 3. Question 10, a little bit more of a challenging question. The line with the equation y equals kx intersects the circle at x squared minus 10x. Let's write this down. x squared minus 10x plus y squared minus 12y plus 57 equals 0. Um, that's two distinct points. So what I will do first here is substitute in y equals kx. Uh, into the equation for y and show that it has two distinct points. So uh, x squared minus 10x, now we substitute in the kx part, k squared x squared minus 12kx plus 57 equals 0. Now we should group together. Now the x squared terms here is going to form x squared plus 1 x squared, so I've factorised out the x squared there. Uh, then we're going to get plus minus 10 minus 12k on the x, factorising out the x, and we're also going to get plus 57 equals 0. Right, so now what we want to do is using the fact they have two distinct points is we're going to use b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. So b is this value here, a is this value here, and c is this value here. So b squared, so that's going to be minus 10 minus 12k squared minus 4 times a times c. And we get this uh, equation here. Uh, the next thing we need to do then is to simplify. So what do we get when we expand this? Well, we're going to get 144k squared. Then we're going to get... Um, what I'll do here is I'll cancel out the negatives because when we square a negative, we're going to get a positive. So it's effectively the same as uh, squaring this expression here. So that's going to give us 200, 120, 240k. Uh, add 100. Then we're going to get take away 4 times 57, which is 288. So 228k uh, squared. And we're also going to have a subtraction of um, 4 times 57, which is 228 again. Uh, and this needs to be bigger than 0 because the discriminant is, um, is positive. Now let's simplify. So 144 take away 228 gives us minus 84k squared. Uh, then we have to add on 240k and then we have to take away 128 uh, and set that as positive. Let's add it onto the other side and see if we can divide through by 4 at the same time. So uh, minus 81k squared taken on to the other side will give us, and divided through by 4 as well, that will give us 21k squared. Um, 240 divided by 4 gives us 60, and take it on to the other side, that would be take away 60k. And 128 divided by 4 gives us 32, and add it on to the other side, and you get add 32. Great, so part 
B now is determine the range of possible values of K and give your answer to two decimal places. So what I think I'll do here is I'll go to that calculator mode that solves uh, inequalities for you. Um, it needs to be less than zero, so that's option two, 21 minus 60, 32. Uh, great. So your answer is going to be here 30 minus 2 root 57 over 21. Uh, is less than x is less than 30 plus 2 root 5 over 21. Right, so uh, to two decimal places they want this, so let's uh, take this to two decimal places. And we get 0 0.71 to two decimal places, and we get the positive one, which is 2.15. Okay, so that's the final answer for question 10. Quite a long and complicated that one. You had to bring in also the discriminant. Right, uh, have a go at some other questions from exercise 6D then until you've uh, caught on and mastered the topic. Uh, make sure that you persevere through those challenging questions and you ask your teacher for help if you need any. Right, thanks very much for watching.